हेलो एवरीवन होप यू डूइंग वेल आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर अक्षय परमार फ्रॉम आईटीएसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम टू द वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑफ द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इन दिस टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द आईओटी राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द कॉमन आर्किटेक्चर फॉर द आईओटी एनी आईओटी एप्लीकेशन राइट सो the which kind of architecture that iot application is having that we are going to discuss and after that we are going to pick one iot application and in this session we are going to pick that in the healthcare industry right so in the healthcare industry where we can use an iot and uh, what is its factors that we are going to discuss in this today session only right so let's start with a common architecture of an iot application right so using iot we can build a many application right but here few of the iot application we are, we are going to discuss in this particular series right so we will cover the following topics for the iot application first of all we will see the general overview right or general practice for that any iot application after that we are going to see that importance of the iot in that particular field right so why we need an iot why why we need an iot application for that particular field that we are going to discuss that thing right so the importance of the iot we are going to discuss in each and every section for embedding any sectors with an iot the some of the basic requirement we need right so what kind of material or what kind of facilities that we are going to provide with the help of the iot we are that we are going to discuss in the requirement section right after that the functional block diagram the how that particular things is working with the help of the iot right so we can say that the architecture of the iot that we are going to discuss and the how it works right so general working of an iot application that is also we are going to discuss in this particular series series right so before so before we explore them one by one let's understand the common architecture that all the iot application is having right so let's see the common architecture for the iot application right as you are all aware about right so what is the starting point of any iot application the iot application is start from the sensors right so here the sensor nodes are sensing the data from its surrounding or we can say that from its environment the sensor the node is sensing the physical uh, property right so we can say uh, we can have an any of the sensory node right so all kind of sensor such as gps sensor temperature sensor and all that thing after that the another type of the device which is sensing the its surround is an actuator nodes right so there what what do you mean by the actuator nodes right so you are aware about the relay the alarms the motors that are the actuators right so light indicators and all that things are come under the actuators field right so they are after sensing the data right after sensing data what they are doing they are storing that data somewhere right so mainly they are storing the data on the cloud service right so they are or taking in help from the cloud service right so with the help of the internet they are connected with a cloud service right so the, what the, that the that cloud service is at the central and the remote right so they are have, the cloud service is providing a storage the location as well as they are helping us to analyze that data right so for, with the help of the cloud service we can store the data as well as we are analyzing the data too right after storing and analyzing, analyzing data we can remotely monitor that data too right the remote monitoring or we can say that the care taking or the emergency help team that monitors that data with the help of the remote monitoring right and with the help of the cloud services we can uh, have a data analytics tool right so for the research and the analysis purpose or the decision making purpose we can use that data analytics tool also right this is the general architecture right of the any iot application right in this some of the architecture we are having a mediators too right so after sensing the data the sensor node and the actuator nodes are giving their command or giving that sensor data sense data to the controls node right so they are connected with the link right that control nodes are connected with an fob or the local computer right so whenever you are requiring a local storage device right so at that time that controller node is uh, taking care of that right so that controller node is connected with a local computer and the local monitoring is done on that local computer or the fob computer right so in this uh, in the house monitoring system 
or the caretaker is taking care of that particular system with the help of that local monitoring itself right so within an uh, the, within any organization for a local analytics processing and the controlling decision we are having this kind of module too right so this local analysis particular module or the analysis or processing or the control and section may not be there in the many iot application right but they are have in so many iot application is there right so that's about a general overview about an iot architecture right so let's see let's see the part of each and every module in this particular architecture right so how it's work right so general architecture of the iot so here we are having a sensors and the actuators right so all the sensors and the actuator node should be placed at an appropriate place right so with the help of that uh, by the placing at the appropriate place we can trace its surrounding right so the sensors and the actuator node should have an proper connectivity with the controller nodes or direct to the cloud server right so after sensing the data we need to store that data somewhere so the sensor node and actuator node should be have a proper connectivity with the, with the controller or the direct connection with the cloud server with the help of the internet right so without that connectivity that sense data will uh, no that sells uh, that sense data will not go to the controller or the cloud server right and without that we cannot take any precautionary step with that right after that the sensor node sends that sense data to the controller nodes or directly to the cloud with the help of the internet right so the, what is the role of the controller node right so it is collecting the data from the sensor right so that uh, so controller is collecting the data from its sensor right the sensor is sensing that surroundings physical property right which is the sensor that we have used that is depend on that right after collecting the data that controller is applying some business logic as per its requirement after applying said some business logic right it is send it to the fog or the local computer or directly to the cloud server for the storage purpose or the analysis purpose right so there is a basic task of an many controller right after that all the controller nodes should have an connected with an fog or the local computer or the directly within cloud server via internet right so that controller is sending the data for the that controller is sending the data to the local server or the cloud server for the storage purpose only right so let's see what is the role of an fog or the local computer right so that fog or the local computer that are receiving all the data from that controller nodes right and that controller nodes is getting the information with the help of the sensor sense data right after receiving that data the, uh, that particular local computer is executing some of the business logic with respect to that our application requirement after that uh, after executing some of the business logic right the local computer is doing an analysis right on the collected data right they are doing and some of the analysis task on that collected data from the sensors right after that it is sending that filter limited data to the cloud or the any kind of the devices right so after af after analyzing the data they are shortlisting the data right and after the shortlisting or filtering the data they uh, the local computer is sending the data for to the cloud computer as well right and after that we are sending that alert message to the local team right so that is the basic task for the local computer right the fog computer should have an internet connectivity for the cloud communication right for doing a cloud communication with a fog computer we are we need an internet very good uh, we need an internet connectivity right so all the in house monitoring team members can access the status of the all the sensors from the cloud or the local computer itself right so uh, all the all the in house monitoring systems team members can access the status of the all the sensors from that fog or the local computer itself right after that what is the role of the cloud computer right the cloud computer are storing the data which is received from the fog computer local computer or this sending the it is receiving the data directly from the sensors too right so after that that uh, sensor or the after that the cloud is receiving the data right after receiving the data that uh, in the cloud itself we are executing that some of the business logic on that particular data 
and we are doing some of the analysis task on that particular stored data right and there after that we can take an precautionary step right so all those who have right to access to the cloud data can get an desired information from it such as in remote remote monitoring system right so remote monitoring is done by the team members which are which is having an uh, right for that access in that particular cloud right after that the data analytics team having a cloud access right so with the help of that they can uh, see that all the data which is stored on the cloud right after that what is the role of the care, uh, caretaker or the data analytics teams right so the caretaker and the data analytics teams may execute the correct action based on an analyzed data right so based on that analyzed data the caretaker team or the data analytics team is taking in some of the precautionary step right so they are executing that uh, collective action right so they may send the command to the local or the actuators directly and the broadcast alert message to the all of the concerned persons right so all the actuator nodes receive that command from the cloud directly or from the controller or the local computer itself right so the local analytics processing and the controlling section may be may not be there in each and every iot solution right so we are we have already discussed that so this kind of uh, local analysis processing and the controlling section is having in few of the iot application so that's about an overview about an architecture of an any of the iot application right so after that let's see the iot application in the healthcare industry right so how this iot the internet of things is helping the health uh, healthcare center right the healthcare sector consists of the medical and the related goods and services kind of thing right so healthcare sector that is providing us and medical services for maintaining and improving the health so via the prevention via the diagnosis via the treatment and the recovery or the cure of the disease illness injury and other physical or the mental harm for the people right so we are maintaining the health and we are improving the health with the help of all of this right after that the healthcare sector is most diversified in the, uh, and it is full of the opportunity in each and every segment right so healthcare sector has in many factors right? such as the healthcare sector is delivered by the health professional such as the medicines the dentistry the pharmacy nursing the physio psychology uh, and the other healthcare professionals are all the are the part of the healthcare industry right so we can use the iot application and each and every professional of the healthcare industry right so healthcare has become one of the india's largest sector in term of the revenue as well as the employment so let's see the importance of the iot in the healthcare industry right so before the internet of things right so patients interaction with the doctors were limited to the visits after evolution of the internet of the things right so patient do not need to visit to the doctor for interaction right where the iot is not there right so there is the no way that doctor or the hospital could monitor the patients the health continuously right iot enabled device have been made remote monitoring in the healthcare sector possible right so with the help of the iot enabled device the we can monitor the health of that patient right so remote uh, with the remote location the iot enabled device right they have to have made the remote monitoring in the healthcare sector possible right so it is iot the iot is helping to keep the patient safe and healthy this is uh, that iot application is empowering that physician to deliver a superlative care right so that's about that thing right right so with the help of the iot application we can do the remote monitoring right so remote monitoring of the patient's health help in reducing the length of the hospital stay right so before when that we we are not having a remote monitoring facility at that time at that time that patient must have to stay in that particular hospital for that monitoring systems right so for that monitoring right even if that patient is not that much critical uh, then after that patient must have to stay in that particular hospital right after evolution of that iot application and we are having a facility of that remote monitoring the minor uh, illness or if the patient is the doesn't have any major issues then that patient can be monitored with the help of the iot application remotely right so the reducing it uh, so 
it reducing the length of the hospital stay so it also preventing the readmission or the rehospitalization for the any patient right so iot uh, so iot has an application in the healthcare that benefits to the patient itself right so here the patient do not require to stay in the hospital for the long time and it can be monitored remotely right so iot application is helpful for the patient right after that the families right so families do not have to take care of that particular patient or that particular relative for for that particular thing right even if that patient is critical then after or uh, then after that families can track his or her health with the help of the remote monitoring system after that the physicians and hospitals and the insurance company right so that all can get benefit with the help of the iot application right with the help of the iot application we can take care of that patients remotely we can take care we can make and log and all that thing kind of thing right so that is beneficial to all of that particular stakeholders right so that's about the importance of an iot in the healthcare industry right so so let's see what is the requirement for an iot application whenever we are embedded into the healthcare industry right so first one is in sensors right so for monitoring the patient we need a heartbeat sensor oxygen level sensor the glucose level sensor and we can have a many of the sensors to do many of the sensors right so with the help of that we can get a data for that particular patient that particular property right after that we need and some controller right after sensing the data that sensors must have to store the data somewhere right and the data must need to uh, send to that controllers only uh, controller also to take an appropriate action right so for that we need and some of the controller such as node mcu or we can use an arduino uno or the wifi module or the network shield so that's that's about a controller right so with the help of the controller we can store the data and analyze the data after that if we even if, if we need an some kind of storage location and we need a fog or the local computer computing right so at the time we can use an raspberry pi or the pc right so there is a basic requirement of the iot application after that we need to connect all that sensors controllers for computing the cloud computing all that things right so we required lan and wan connectivity really effective right uh, by for that we need a router and the switches right so with the help of the router and the switches we can give we can transfer the data from one device to the another device right we can we need a wireless access point or we can we can have a wired lan too right so after that for the storing and the processing purpose we need a cloud services right so we can use any of the cloud service provider and all that thing and for the monitoring and the analysis purpose we need a pc or some kind of screen or we can use and mobile and we can use a mobile too right so in the mobile screen we can get all that data that right? we can use a mobile we can use a tablet we can use a laptop and all that things so, so that is a basic requirement for whenever you are building an iot any iot enabled healthcare application right so the basic requirements are sensors controllers for the fog computer we are having a raspberry pi or the pc the lan and the wan connectivity really good cloud services and the for the monitoring and the analysis purpose we need some of the devices right so the some of the gadgets we required after that let's see the architecture of the iot application right in the healthcare industry so first of all we require the sensors right so we can use the any of the sensor such as this heartbeat sensor oxygen level sensors or the glucose sensor and here we can have the many more too right so that all the sensors are sensing the data and with the help of the wifi or any connected devices they, they that sense data is sent to the controller node so that controller node is having a patient wise node right so each and every patient's data that we are getting from that particular sensor that we are storing into the so we are getting into the microcontroller node right after that that controller node is sending the data to the to to the fog computer right so with the help of the wifi or the lan right so that sensors are connected with the controller wirelessly and that microcontroller that controller node is connected with the fog computer or the with the cloud with the help of the wifi or the lan right so within an organization the for the local analytics and the processing task we required a fog computer right and if we use a fog computing or the local computing at that time we required a local care taker monitoring system right so nursing staff and the doctors are 
using that local code, uh, local care tagging uh, model system, right? So that nursing staff and the doctor can see that actual evolution of that particular patient's history, right? After that, that fog computer is connected with the cloud, right? And with the help of the internet, we can deploy our all the data or the, our analyzed data to the cloud, right? So cloud service provider is uh, central and the it is providing a uh, central and the remote storage and the analytics tools, right? So with the help of the cloud services, we can store the data on the cloud and we can process that too. After that, if what if we don't need an any local care taking monitoring system? If we require a remote care taker monitoring system at that time, we can use them for that particular cloud services, right? So with the help of the internet, we can get all the information from that particular cloud, right? So that nursing staff and the doctors can get the data from that cloud, right? Which is stored, uh, which is stored, which is get from that particular uh, all that sensors, right? And if that patient's family, right? So that's about a uh, nursing and the doctor staff, right? After that, what if that patient's family or its relatives want to see the patient's history or its evolution uh, remotely, right? So at that time, that patients and its family is getting uh, is given in some of the credential, right? And with the help of that, they can uh, get and all the evolution or the history of that particular patient with the help of the some of the cloud services, right? And after that, the research and the decision making team is taking uh, data from that particular cloud services, right? And they can use the data analytics tool on that particular stored data, right? On that particular stored data, right? So that's all about a basic architecture of an any IoT application in the healthcare industry, right? After that, let's see how it's work, right? So all the sensor nodes should be placed on the patient's body, either directly or using it with the help of the variables, right? So now the variables are embedded with their heartbeat sensor, oxygen level sensor, and all that things, right? So we can place that uh, particular sensor directly onto the patient's body, or we can embed it into the variables, right? That sensor node should have a Wi-Fi connectivity with a microcontroller of the patient, right? So that sensor node should have a Wi-Fi connectivity. So that that sensor node should have a Wi-Fi connectivity with that controller node of the patient, right? So the sensor node sends the sense data to the controller node. The control node nodes collect the data from all of the sensors, right? After applying the sum of the business logic on that particular data as per the requirement. That is sending the data for to the fog computing, right? And all the controller nodes of the patient should have been connected with the fog computer network, right? So without that, we cannot store the data locally, right? After that, the fog computer is receiving all the data from that controller node, right? It is exhibiting some of the business logic and do some of the analytics and collecting the data, right? After doing that particular thing, right? That filter data is sending to the that filter limited data is sending to that particular cloud computing, right? For the storage and the uh, processing task, right? After applying some of the business logic, right? It is having a filter limited data, right? Which is sending to the cloud, right? For, right? So that uh, and after that, which is sending uh, the alert message to the caretaker of the team, such as nursing staff and the doctor, right? So after applying some of the business logic, right? If it need an uh, giving an any alert message, right? So it is sending a message to the caretaker team, such as nursing staff and the doctor. The fog computer needs a really nice internet connectivity for the cloud communication, right? So all the local caretaker team members can be access health status for that particular patient from that fog computer itself, right? And if they need a remote location or if they need a remote analysis, right? So at that time. They can use a cloud system, right? So the cloud is used to store all the data that is received from that four computers, right? So uh, that cloud is executing some of the business logic and that is doing an analytics task and store that data, right? That is store that filter data. All those who have an rights to access that particular cloud data can get an health records of that particular patients, like remotely, remote caretaker team members can access the data the data analytics team that can get the particular data and the patient's family members can also get the data of the particular evolution of the particular patient. The caretaker and the data analytics teams may execute the corrective action based on the data and the alert messages, right? 
so that's how that rt application is working so so that's how we can embed that healthcare industry with the iot right so let's have a quick summary about the healthcare industry and the iot so iot has changed the people's life by enabling the constant tracking of the health condition right so with the help of the iot we can track the health condition of the patients constantly right after that the wearable connected devices like blood pressure and the heart rate monitoring cough glucometer all that are giving the patients attention right or any changes in that routine activity of the person the alert message is sent to the family members and the health service provider right the rt enables the healthcare professional to be more watchful right so they can uh, have an watch uh, remotely at the locally right so data collected from then any rt devices can help the physician identify that based treatment process right and iot device tagged with and sensors are used for tracking the real time location and the medical equipment like the wheelchairs the nebulizer the oxygen pumps and other monitoring equipments right and it is also help in the assess management such as the pharmacy inventory control and the environmental monitoring for the instance the checking the refrigeration temperature and all that kind of thing right so that's how we can use an iot in the healthcare industry right so that's all about today's session thank you for the watching